how will artificial intelligence potentially reduce the empowerment of your team? I'm Greg Schinkel, President of Unique Training and Development and Frontline Leadership Systems, and today we need to look at how technology is evolving and what does that mean for how employees get engaged and motivated in their work, or worse, how are they becoming more demotivated and disengaged? Now, the introduction of AI is simply the latest technology to be introduced to the workplace. Frederick Taylor, decades ago, came up with a scientific method of management. And in his theory, he said if engineers could design the work to be just perfect using the principles of industrial engineering, then we would simply plug workers into that to execute those systems. You see some of that going on today with very large high volume retailers really measuring all the little steps that employees take and prompting them or even disciplining them for not keeping up with what they should be achieving according to the algorithm. So Frederick Taylor is alive and well, but what happened last time everyone focused on scientific method for managing employees is employees became systematically demotivated. They didn't like to be tracked doing everything that they were responsible for, and they found it insulting that the machine, essentially, or that the engineers would tell them what to do all the time. So that then became the human relations movement in leadership development. And we saw people work on empowerment and inclusion and involvement of their teams. And we did see a corresponding rise in employee engagement, employee satisfaction, a reduction in employee turnover. We also saw a positive impact on operating results. But managers are very seduced, if you will, and attracted to this idea of designing the perfect workflow and letting the machines manage the people. So a note of caution in your frontline leadership role, or some of you would be in a management role, is to be careful that artificial intelligence doesn't sort of replace the need for human relations in your relationships with your employees. Now, what does it mean for a supervisor to work alongside artificial intelligence? I think if employees can have a say in how they interact with AI and use it as a tool, just like you use some of the apps on your smartphone to make your life more or easier and more convenient, what if we empowered employees to use the artificial intelligence to gain the knowledge from it and then put it to good use to generate the results you're looking for? I think there's a way of marrying technology and human relations together, and of course, that's what we're working towards in our frontline leadership course. So I have a few tips for how to rehumanize or continue to humanize your workforce. Number one is remember that employees need relationships with others. So we actually need employees to interact with each other. It's part of their well-being. They're spending a lot of hours in the workplace and they need to have connections with other human beings as part of that workplace experience. Number two is we need them to feel that their work matters. The problem when you get micromanaged, whether it's by a manager or by a computer, is that you start to lose the desire or the understanding of what you're doing and how it makes a difference. So. The human side means people need to feel that their work is of value and that they're contributing to the end result, either their impact on the customer or under a downstream department. The third goal or suggestion in humanizing the workplace is involving people in decisions. And as I mentioned earlier, really it shouldn't be about using AI to replace humanization. It's how to marry the two together. So we still need to involve our employees in coming up with the best way of using the science of machine learning with their goals as a person so that they remain engaged in the work. Now, once you've dealt with this issue of artificial intelligence and machine learning, industrialization 4.0 or 5.0, uh, you're going to want to work on some of your other leadership skills. And of course, that's where we come in. We train people how to be exceptional leaders from a humanistic standpoint to drive exceptional results and great employee engagement. So of course, that begins with a conversation. You can reach out to us on our website at uniquedevelopment.com or connect with us on one of the many social media channels that we're active in. No matter what, we look forward to helping your organization achieve its full potential.